Thank you for joining me once again. Today, I'm going to show you how you can export your correlation matrix table to Excel and MS Word from Stata. The useful commands are those you can see on the screen. These are the commands I use often. The export and the STAP commands in addition to the put Excel command. So let us go to Stata to see how they can be used. My Stata is up. I have my log file on. The variables are already loaded. You can see them right here. And I have my do file in place where all the commands are already written. I'll be using five variables. And the variables are what you are seeing here. RGDP, EDS, EDSP, GovX, and Exchange. So the first command I'm going to show you is the est post command, by which the output will be exported to the rich text formats. So I've already written out the commands. I'm going to highlight all and simply execute. See on the screen the stata output from the execution of that command, but you can see here output written to core matrix .rtf, just the way I specified in my do file. So that is where the table is. I'm going to double click it now and see the output right now in MS Word. So this is much better than this, than what we have here. So once it's in MS Word, you can format it in any way that you like to make it more presentable. I may decide to delete this first row. Right click that and just select delete row and just write here correlation table. Come up here to expand this, to make it wider. I write here variables. Just simple things to make the table look nicer. Then here I can give the variables their real heading. I'll just write for real GDP alone. You can do the same for other variables. And here I write real GDP too. So just do the same for other variables. I can darken this, the correlation table, make it bolder. And I can in increase the font also because it's the heading to 15. Just to make it bigger. I can also include some borders. Come in here, click here. Put some borders, bottom border. And here, for the column, I can also put a border. Right border. So just do the necessary prep work that you think it's okay by you. Looking at the p values, ordinarily it doesn't mean it doesn't convey any information to anyone. So you need to tell us what they stand for. So I'm coming here now to just put a simple note. Then you need to write the source since you created the table and just put auto. Fine. So that's your table in MS Word. The next thing I will show you is how to export it to Excel. The command is written out. You can see it here. I've highlighted it. I'm clicking Execute. This is the output again in Stata domain. And you can see the link here. Output is written to this uh, drive. I'm double clicking it. And here is the output in Excel format. So just the way I did for the Word document, I can just do a little prepping just to make it presentable. I give it a heading, correlation table. In cell A2, I write variables. Then I may decide to change the entire font from Calibri to Times. Just simply redesigning the table in the way I like. For the heading, I can increase the size to, let's say, 15. I'm bolding it. Then I can use the merge button. You can see the merge and center. So I've matched it, I've moved it back. Then here, this entire row, I can also bolden it and put them at the center. So I can also rename the first one while you do the rest with your own data, just to indicate the real names of the variables so that anybody reading your work will understand what this variable stands for. And in this column, column A, I will also write a real GDP. Uh, lastly, I may decide to put a border here just to look, just to make the table look nicer. Open those plays up. I'll select right border. Then here too, I'll put a border below. Bottom border. And here for the heading, I can also put a bottom border. I may decide to use a thick bottom border. 
just to make it look nicer. And below here, I can also put a bottom border, a light one. Again, just like I did for the word, I need to explain what these P values are. Then don't forget to put auto, the source, auto. So this is the correlation matrix neatly put in the table. I can also put these ones at the center just to align them together, center. So you can see, this is nicer than what we have here. So I'm going to show you the second command I use is the put Excel command. This one will also put it in an Excel form. This is the way the syntax is written. So I'm going to highlight everything here and I execute this command. So this is the output for the put Excel command. It actually starts from here. This is the output for the put Excel command. But there is nowhere for you to click anything here. So you have to go to your desktop where the Excel file has been placed. This is it here from the put Excel command. I'm double clicking it. So here is the file as obtained by Stata. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to remove all this just to do a little prepping for the data. I'm including a new row so I can insert my heading. Correlation table. Then I'm highlighting the entire worksheet and I'm changing the fonts from Calibri to Times New Roman, size 12. For the heading, I'm giving it a size 15. And I'm, in, I'm, I'm going to bold in it. I will also use the merge and center, as you can see here. In cell A2, I'm going to write variables, just to make it look nicer. Then here, I'll just indicate what the variables are, real GDP. So do the same for all the variables in your data. Here too, I'll just write real GDP. And um, I will bolden it. Bold. I'm going to include a bottom border here. I'll use a thicker border for the heading. And I'll use a lighter border for the variables for the variable names, lighter border. I will now put a right border here too, table, right border. And if I want, I can also put a below border here. And I'll just write source auto. Because I generated it, I need to indicate that. The variables are in five decimal places, so I may decide to just use two or three decimal places. So what do I have to do? I highlight them. Then I come here. I click this button. I select number. Two decimal places. I may increase it to three. I click OK. So all the variables are now in three decimal places. I click the center icon and everything looks good. So these are the ways by which you can export your Stata output from uh, Stata to Excel or MS Word using these uh, commands. I've shown you how to use the expose command which will send your outputs to either the RTF or the dot CSV files and also how you can use the put Excel. If you need the do file so that you can use it and modify your own work, send me an email. My email address is on my website. I'll be very very happy to send it to you. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. I thank you very much for staying with me. Don't go away. I'll be right back on how you can export your summary statistics output to either Word or Excel.